One of my favorite, most beloved dishes is fried chicken. So this is um, updated fried chicken with a really fresh salad made from avocado, lime, and red onion. Even though it's healthy fried chicken, it tastes exactly like all the fried chicken you've had before, probably even better, and you can do it at home in about five minutes. There's about seven versions of this recipe because uh, I constantly tinker with it, make it better, make it better, make it better. So after a long period of experimentation, process that took years, years, this is, my, in my opinion, my best version of this dish. Regular fried chicken has about 549 calories and 30 grams of fat per portion. This fried chicken, which is every bit as delicious and maybe more, has only 279 calories and 13 grams of fat. That's a big difference. So here's how I start my updated fried chicken. You want to get your oil hot. This frying has to occur at 400 degrees because 400 degrees is precisely the point at which foods are flash fried. Flash fry is a very high heat method of frying that usually occurs in seconds. And I use grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil has extremely high smoke point and flash point and has the most neutral flavor so it won't make your chicken taste funny. Now the chicken is one of the more simple things. I buy boneless, skinless chicken thighs because they're much juicier and they taste really good. All you have to do is cut each thigh into four to five pieces. They need seasoning, salt and pepper. I also want to season it with adobo powder. Adobo is basically garlic salt with a few other things thrown in. They're usually oregano. And then you microwave it. And I know you're thinking, what kind of a chef uses a microwave? Turns out if you know how to use it, it could really help cook food properly and shorten cooking times. It's a moist environment inside the microwave, and it doesn't extract any juices. So after the first uh, minute and 30 seconds, take it out, turn each piece over. By moving the inside ones to the outside, season the other side. And throw it in there for another minute and 30 seconds. And you want the chicken to be partially cooked because the rest of the cooking has to happen in the oil. Okay, that's perfect. So while the chicken is cooling to room temperature, you want to beat two egg whites till they're very foamy and mix the ingredients for the coating, which is whole wheat pastry flour, fine cornmeal, Hungarian paprika, and a little more adobo seasoning. And of course, salt and pepper. This coating will replace the traditional coating of buttermilk and flour. So we're gonna do this in two batches. About half the chicken goes into the egg white, put it each into a different part of the flour and then shake it around. From there, you go right into the fryer for literally 12 seconds. You should count it off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2. I do it like that. It's easier. I, dyslexia, probably. 12 seconds, not a second more. And they're done. And then serve four to six pieces per person with the salad and enjoy one of the greatest fried chicken experiences you'll ever have in your life. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Yeah. You bite into that fried chicken, it's crispy, makes sounds, it crackles. You know, there's sour, salt, sweet, bitter, and the deep satisfaction that you get from eating fried chicken, that's sort of like, oh, this is so good. It's all there. So what do you guys think, healthy and delicious possible? It's the best of both Absolutely. worlds, it's incredible.